Humpty Dump Jump Jump. Can you believe it's Friday already? You know what that means. Sure. Yesterday was Thursday. It means the week's over. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, how about we all go to a movie Saturday? Gee, it's such short notice. Let me consult my date book. Hmm, I have to scrape aquarium scum. Well, I do have an engagement, but I think I can break it. I trust your ride was a pleasant one, Miss Stone. TV reception could have been better, and my orange juice had too much pulp in it. Hi, Harvey. Hey, Jim. Nice wheel, Spellman. Big sale at the junkyard. Why, yes. Sorry all the good clothes were gone before you got there. Darn. I hate when I miss those sales. Harvey, can I talk with you a minute? Can you believe it's Friday already? And tomorrow's Saturday. I just had this conversation with Sabrina. It's not just any Saturday. Tomorrow is the Greendale Society Charity Ball. And guess where it's being held this year? Uh, in Greendale? At my house. My parents are hosting the ball. And here is an invitation for you. I kind of made plans with Sabrina. Harv, Harv, Harv. People beg for invitations to the charity ball. Live music, cocktail wieners, big screen TV. Whoa. Uh, yeah, but... Harvey Kinkle, do you want to go through life with one big butt? Oh, hmm. all right. How about if I invite Sabrina, too? Yeah, I guess I'd be okay. Uh, I mean, if she wants to go. You're inviting me to the Greendale Society Charity Ball? Of course. After all, a charity ball is for people less fortunate. And I don't know anyone less fortunate than you. Well, if Harvey wants to go. Great! Oh, one more thing. The theme this year is country western, so dress appropriately. How about this one? Do you think it says country western? No, it says $29.99. You left the price tag on it. You're not helping, Salem. How am I going to look like a cowgirl if I don't have any cowgirl clothes? Why are you even bothering with this ball? They're just a bunch of stuck-up snobs. Because Harvey's going, and leaving him alone with Jem would be cruel and unusual punishment. Well, I might know a little spell for Western clothes. Of course, I haven't used it since that unfortunate incident with the pig stampede. Magic lasso, swirl, rope, swirl. Dress her up like a country girl. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly! I outdid myself. Salem, it's perfect! You, partner, are gonna be the foxiest old cowgirl at the hoedown. Yeehaw! Sabrina Spellman. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Spellman, there you are. We were worried about you. <laughs> Maybe she got lost looking for the rodeo. Jim, dear, I didn't know you hired a new stable hand. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you said it was a country western theme. Did I? Oh, my mistake. I guess that was last year. Dinner is now being served. Everyone, please board the monorail to the dining room. And so, on behalf of Regina and myself, and our lovely daughter, Jim, I'd like to propose a toast. To us, <laughs> because that's what this charity ball is all about. People like us who care about people uh, not like us. <laughs> to us. To us. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, yes. To us. Absolutely. And I'd like to propose a toast, too, to tonight's charity case. 
Sabrina Spellman. You're a cave girl? Come on, girls. We'll all be glad we know her. Come round up time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jem. There you are. Mom, Dadams, what's the matter? Oh, Jem, your father has some bad news. And this one's a Lulu. Uh, you see, uh, I recently made a rather sizable investment in a, uh, a logging company. Turns out they made cheese logs. Who knew? <clears throat> yes, well, anyway, though we tried to make the best of it... Picture a house made of cheese logs. Then imagine one good heat wave. Anyway, Jem, what I'm saying is... I'm afraid our funds are, uh, depleted. We're bankrupt. Bankrupt? You know, uh, broke. Broke? Look, dear, read my lips. We have no money. <laughs> oh, she took that better than I expected. <laughs> A true stone. But... But that's impossible. We're too rich to be broke. Now, don't you worry, Princess. Yes, we're in trouble. <laughs> but our faithful servants will help us through these difficult times. Right, Dobson? The name is Montgomery, sir. Your mother and I are going to fly down to the factory to see if we can salvage the business. And if you can't? I hope you like cheese. In the meantime, we've made arrangements for you to stay with a friend. A friend? Who? <gasps> if I never see Gemstone again, it'll be too soon. Ah, Sabrina, you're home. Just wait till you see the big surprise I have for you. Hello, Spellman. Jem is going to be living with us for a while. Isn't that nice? Sabrina, I said your friend Jem is going to be staying with us. Uh, Uncle Quigley, can I have a word with you? Uncle Quigley, she can't stay here. You've got to get rid of her. Sabrina, what's come over you? Jim is our guest, and I promised her mother we'd look after her while they're gone. But, but, why does she have to stay anywhere? Why can't she just stay in her house with all her servants? What servants? Didn't you hear? The Stones lost all their money. You mean, Gemstone is broke? Sabrina, she's in trouble. Quigley's just trying to be a little charitable. Now, I've already set up a spare cot in your room. It's only for a week. I'm sure you could be a good hostess for that long. I know you. Yeah, but you don't know Jem. Look at this dumb Pruby. They actually expect us to sleep here? <laughs> huh? Yikes! I, uh, don't suppose you're just a really ugly new floor lamp. Get up with you, you tender bird. Stop. Uh, hi, Jem. Sorry to hear about your problems. Uh -huh. Oh, that. Just a little speed bump on Zillionaire Highway. Trust me, Mom and Dadams will be back soon, just dripping with dinero. Well, uh, great. Come on, I'll show you where you're sleeping. I suppose. Oh, get my bags, will you? Jem is my guest. Jem is my guest. 
Hmm. Lumpy, but I suppose it'll do. Where will you sleep? Me? Jem, that happens to be my bed, and I intend to... Oh, all this stress has left me parched. Could you get me a drink? Lemonade? Shaken, not stirred? Whoa! <laughs> Meow! Here, Pooch Poochie! Dog has caught me. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Here's your lemonade. Shaken, not. Huh? What is going on here? Oh, I unpacked. There wasn't enough room in the closet, so I took out your stuff. You what? You don't expect me to keep my designer clothes in the same closet with your rags, do you? Ah! Oh, and can you run a bath for me? Not too hot, and if you have any imported bath oil. Look here, Jen. If you think for one minute that I'm going to... Hi, girls. Everything working out? Oh, yes, Mr. Quigley. Thank you so. Good, good. Don't want it said that the Spellmans aren't gracious hosts. Right, Sabrina? Yes, Uncle Quigley. <sighs> now, about that bath. Are we going to behave now? <laughs> that was an interesting breakfast you made. What did you call that again? Cereal? Do all simple peasant folk eat that? Jem, we're not simple peasant folk. We're just folk. Jem? Oh, Jem, you poor thing! It's just dreadful! They're spreading the most vicious rumors about you. They say you've lost all your... your money! Girls, girls, I'm so touched by your concern. Yes, I'm afraid the rumors are true. But don't worry, I don't really need money as long as I have friends like you. Well, gotta go! Nice new <gasps> you. Can't hang with a loser. You understand. Huh? Don't feel bad, Jem. They're just shallow, superficial snobs. I know! <laughs> and I want to be one of them! What am I gonna do, Spellman? Without money, my life is over! Jem, you can be perfectly happy even without lots of money. <laughs> I... I can? Of course you can. Then show me how, Spellman. Teach me. Mold me. I want to learn everything you know about being a simple peasant. Jem, I'm not a simple peasant. I'll show them. If I've got to be broke, I'm going to be the most successful broke person that ever lived. Now, let me get this straight. These are dirty clothes. And we're actually going to wash them? Of course. What have you been doing with your dirty clothes? I throw them out, of course. Doesn't everyone? Look, just load up the washing machine and put this in. Think you can handle that? I suppose so. Good. And when you're finished with that, come on up and I'll show you how to wash the dishes. Hmm, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Jem, what are these doing in here? Well, after I put the clothes in, I had some extra room. So I thought I'd wash the dishes, too. I mean, it is called a washing machine, right? Somebody save me!
Now remember, we only have enough money to share one scoop. Share? What means this word, share? It means to split something with someone else. But first, we have to decide which flavor we want. And how do we do that? Well, we can ask for a free taste. Ugh, they give out free tastes? Really? Can I help you? Why, yes. Can I have a free taste of, um, mint jamocha chip, please? Here you go. Mmm, not bad. How about a taste of chocolate marshmallow surprise? Here, peanut brittle sherbet almond crunch. Nah, too, uh, complex. What else do you have? That's it! You've tasted all 39 flavors! Now, what do you want to buy? Oh, nothing. I'm just, you know, browsing. I think I'm really getting the hang of peasant life. I'm not a peasant! <gasps> what can I get you, miss? And it better be something very, very expensive. <laughs> It's awfully nice of you to prepare dinner for us, Jem. My pleasure. I want to try out everything I've learned from Sabrina. What did you make, Jem? It's a surprise. Mmm, that smells delicious. Wait till you taste it. Dig in. Not bad. Mmm, not bad at all. Mmm, it's very tasty indeed. To save money, I made it all from leftovers. But there's ham in here. We haven't had ham for a month. Oh, they're not our leftovers. I found the food in those metal bins your neighbors keep behind their house. You found this food in garbage cans? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Quig, may I have a word with you? Now? <laughs> Uncle Quigley, this let's be peasants thing of gems is driving me up the wall. Me too. This morning she recycled one of my 13th century spell books to make scrap paper. She emptied all my potion bottles and took them to the market for a deposit. Come on, girls. Surely you're exaggerating. Jim is just trying to. Ah! My Devonshire tea roses! What happened to them? I think Jem used them in the stew. They only blossom once every 12 years. Face it, Quigley. She's got to go. But how? We can't just throw her out in the street. No, we can't. But I do know one sure way to get rid of her. How? We have to make Gemstone rich again. I'm getting some papers ready to recycle. You know, I never realized how much fun it is doing things for myself. You through with these? Thanks. Hey! That was my homework! <laughs> Time to put Operation Make Gem Rich into action. Allow me. America, we're about to surprise our newest sweepstakes winner with a check for one billion dollars. Gemstone? Huh? Uh, yeah. Congratulations! You're our grand prize winner, and this is for you! Really? Oh, this is my lucky day! It sure is, young lady. There must be 25 cents worth of paper here. Thanks. You know, I just love being a useful member of society. Huh? Why did you want to come back to my empty house? Uh, I don't know. Just thought we could look around. Boy, I can't believe how quickly everything changed. Good dog, take the bone. Take it and bury it. Bury the bone. You know, Spellman, it's funny. I wonder if I was ever really happy in there. I mean, I had everything done for me, and I got everything I wanted, but it's kind of nice when you do stuff yourself. It makes you feel, I don't know, happy inside. I never felt that way when I lived here. Clean 
or cook or recycle, you can have everything done for you just like you used to. Isn't that great? Yeah, great, just great. Well, I guess that's it. It's been interesting. Yeah, you know, you and your family showed me how to do a lot of great stuff. It felt good. Hey, maybe your mom and dad will let you cook for them. Uh, they're insured, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I'd like you to have huh? this. Oh, Jem, you didn't have to. I found it on the beach. <gasps> you simple peasants can use the nickel deposit more than I can. We're not. <sighs> Thanks, Jem. Really? Yeah, well, see ya. No thanks, Jensen. I'd rather do it myself. <laughs>